No risk, no rigour, there's no justice. 70 years of denial, 70 years of cover-ups. These documents tell the real truth. This memo, exposed by Susie Boniface of the Daily Mirror, shows Winston Churchill editing his speech following Operation Hurricane, where he takes out the word experiment and changes it to episode. He takes out all of the detail relating to the brave servicemen. It's disgraceful. A report by the Defence Research Policy Committee and the Chiefs of Staff Committee clearly states the Army must discover the detailed effects of various types of explosions on equipment, stores and men with and without protection. It's very clear in this memo that this was an experiment. When William Penny was providing samples to the Australian government in 1955, he stated that we needed to wait a few days so that some of the short-lived isotopes would have decayed a good deal so that the results given to the Australian government looked better than they really were. More lies, more cover-ups. The trial planning section for Operation Hurricane stated that they believe that all government servants are in fact entitled to compensation for injury on duty and that the ill effects may be long delayed from Operation Hurricane. They knew that they would be long delayed. They knew the effects. Don't let them tell you otherwise. The Medical Research Council, DC Catcherside, stated that all quantitative experiments show that even the smallest dose of radiation can produce a genetic effect. They know, they knew, but they still carried on. The head of the military branch in 1952 stated that it's now been decided that the ships cannot dock and be taken in hand for essential repairs by contract because of the precautions needed as a result of radioactive contamination. They knew the ships were contaminated, yet they still carried on. A memo on the MRC report stating that it should be changed and it should say has not shown an increase rather than the original report which said shows an increase. This is an increase in radioactivity and the genetic effects and they did not want to release any statement on the genetic effects of radioactivity or strontium-90 pending the arrival of William Penny. More lies, more cover-ups. 70 years of denial, 70 years of cover-ups, 70 years of lies. It must end. Join us on the 8th of November at 1.30pm in Parliament Square to show your support for the British nuclear test veterans and their families.